Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Somebody here, Seven of Swords energy. Somebody's coming towards you to tell you a lie. Or they're hiding facts. They're not giving all the facts. They're not being honest with you, collective. Or maybe this is energy that's already happened. And this could be you not being honest. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Flip and switch the roles where they go. Show me more here about honeymoon. Honeymoon phase. Attending someone's wedding. Interesting. Um, has the honeymoon phase ended with someone here? Or somebody could be coming towards you to like love bomb you and like, oh, it's everything is so nice and, and I love you. I miss you, but do they need you for something? Hmm. Patience. Just a few more months and good things will come to those who wait. For some of you guys, you might be meeting somebody at a wedding. Uh, but we'll see. I don't know. Show me what else here for the collective. Challenges, making a decision, work on inner healing. So you guys, I feel like this is your energy. You've experienced some challenges here when it comes to love. And you've been patiently kind of waiting on your person or whoever, right? You, whether or not this is you like wanting to reconcile with somebody new. I mean, somebody old. Maybe it is somebody new from a past life. I don't know why I said that. But I feel like you guys have been experiencing people who where you were in this honeymoon phase and then things like just fizzled out really quickly and then it was like uh okay and then people are not who they say they are you know what i mean this is kind of giving that energy here you've just experienced some challenges when it comes to love i get it what else for the collective when it comes to love fire sign some of you guys are an aries leo or a sagittarius or you're dealing with a fire sign here Show me, show me more about what the collective is dealing with when it comes to love. I want to know more about this liar. We're gonna, we're gonna clarify. So just be patient, okay? Oh, some of you guys are getting a new, a new pet. Are you getting a new pet? If you, if you already have a pet, you might be considering getting another pet. Um, th there's a good sign here, or like maybe you need to be. Put yourself in somewhere where there's an animal. Animal th Animals are actually really good pet, are good therapy. How can I say this? Y'all get what the point I'm saying, right? Anyway, pets energy is here. So it might be time for you to spend more time with your pet or get a new pet or just surround yourself with loving animals. That's what I was trying to say. You could be an earth sign on Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. You could be dealing with one. Or somebody could have this in a chart. I don't know why all these signs are coming out here today. Air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <clears throat> Listen. For some of you guys, somebody here could like both. Somebody could like uh, be bisexual. Or somebody is still like out in the streets. Just be aware. I feel like that's this person who's not honest with you. Someone is still figuring out their sexuality here. And they could be, you know bisexual trisexual i don't know what they call it these days i'm no shade to anybody because that's your business um but the liar energy is here so it's like just be honest you know what i'm saying because it looks like here there's some form of third party here there's a third party energy somebody's in the middle trying to sabotage something all right confession someone has something to tell you oh here we here's the tea and whoever this part this third party of this person is that they're dealing with they just want your money or try to use you or they're trying to or they're using your person look at this gold digging energy and this is somebody here is stuck in a karmic cycle with somebody here but you guys are i feel like you're you've been patient you've been trying to heal you've been trying to make better decisions you're trying to be patient and wait for better things to come in for you and you know that you have to end something and move forward and that has been a bit of a struggle but i feel like because you're waiting on some something commit long term and some form of commitment is what it's giving here Let's see what this energy of this liar is here, because I I don't know. It's we have all we have fire here, earth here, and air sign. We do not have any water here. Okay, so you could be any of these zodiac signs, a fire sign, an air sign, or an earth sign here, or you could be dealing with one of these. Show me the energy of this liar here. Show me the energy of the liar here when it comes to uh, 
That's too many cards, please, Spirit. One card at a time, showing the energy of the lion. The strength card could definitely be dealing with a Leo here. Show me the energy of liars. So somebody, yeah. Look at this five of wands and the strength card. There's some conflict here. Either about a third party or about a lie, some lies or some, there's some sort of drama behind this issue with this person. And they want to communicate with you or somebody's getting ready to bring some drama to you about this person. I don't know. Let's see. Show me more about this liar, please, for the collective. Ace of, Ace of Cups. Listen, this person's getting ready to come towards you, like I said, and I feel like I can love bomb you. Hey, let's let's get away and, and, and go on, on a vacation or can I talk to you? Can we please work this out type energy? Can we rekindle things? But in the background, for some of you all, this person could be bisexual. They're not being honest with you. I don't see any energy here of this person confessing. Well, no, I take that back. Someone does have something to confess and tell you. But again, there's still some energy here of somebody keeping something very quiet. Or this could be a third party coming to you and telling you something. I don't know. But I feel like this this there's some news that's getting ready to come towards you and it's gonna be like really shocking here. Hold on you guys, these cards are like mixed up. Alright, let's see. Show me more of this energy when it comes. Some of you got this car, these cars refuse to go back in the deck. Look at what, what keeps coming out and I keep putting it back and it keeps falling out. You got this person is missing you. They're craving for you. I feel like sexually though and physically, right? You've let this person go. You've moved on away from them or this, I feel like this person's having a hard time moving away from you. For some of you all, this person has an issue with, with like resisting their urges with other people. They can't let you go and, and definitely can't let you go physically and sexually. Show me more of this liar's energy, please. They're watching you, Page of Swords. I, I feel also feel like this is gossip. Somebody's getting ready to come come run and tell you that some tea. Show me more here about this liar energy, please. King of Wands. For some of you all, this is definitely a fire sign here. Yeah, somebody's getting ready to come tell you about this This King of Wands here. Libra energy. Hmm. Somebody's getting ready to come tell you the truth about this um, King of Wands. Now we have the King of Wands and the Justice card and the King of Pentacles. For some of you, you guys, this is same sex, like I'm saying. Okay, you might just hear through the grapevine this person, you know, is, you know, bisexual or something. Okay, that's what it looks like. That's exactly what this looks like. Mm -hmm. Or maybe this person that wants to tell you themselves. I don't know. I don't, you know. But with the liar energy popping out, either this person was sneaky with you in the past or they when they come towards you and they confess this to you, I feel like they're still keeping stuff out details out that you need to know okay so show me what else here when it comes to the the collective and this connection please dealing with this person what else do we need to know about this person mixed signals blocked up emotions messed up so this person messed up and they they were not their heart chakra was open they weren't emotionally vulnerable or available to you they could have held their feelings back here this person's hot and cold in and out um lacks emotion they i feel like this person never has like really truly given them their heart to somebody they've truly never like loved a person or allowed a person to love them they've been running away for some of you guys this person's been running away from something and that could be the fact that they are bisexual or maybe they like other but they are not being honest about that with you okay but the, you know this person sent you mixed signals too definitely love bombs you one minute they're in and out it's real good and the next minute is not anymore there have been a lot of challenges with this person this person has had a lot of challenges in their life their love life period i feel like 
See, this person cannot control their sexual urges. This is ridiculous. Lusting, forbidden, non-commitment, and sexual energy. Ooh, man. Wow. Um. Then we have non-commitment energy, and now we have commitment energy. Marriage, fidelity. So this is two conflicting energies. So either you, A, your person is who was in the past for a few of them, right? For a few of you, this could be an anomaly, right? Just flip and switch the roles. For a few of you, this person was like... <sighs> for some of y'all, this person could be releasing and letting go of a commitment, okay? And they're ready to come towards you because they're thinking about you. Or for some of you all, this person in, in the past, they're ready. They weren't ready for commitment. And now they are, but I don't think so. I think this person's married or already in a connection with somebody else. That's why they're sending you all these mixed signals. And yeah, because why else would the five of wands and confession energy be here with someone else is in the middle? Someone is trying to sabotage this. Second chance. Yeah, somebody wants a second chance with you, though. They want reconciliation with you. This person wants to make amends with you and communicate and talk with you. They're hoping that you won't reject them. But, again, this person definitely kind of wants to sleep with you, you guys. Be careful about that with this chemistry here. Uh, yeah, this person wants to sleep with you because they feel like you're you're so sweet, kind, loving, nurturing, but you're also beautiful on the outside and the inside, whether you're male or female. This person, like, I feel like they took advantage. They took advantage of you being sweet and kind and nice to them. I don't like that. Emotional storm, turmoil, unstable, affected. I'm telling you somebody's going through some drama. Some drama's about, or some gossip Gossip is about to come towards you or somebody feels like they're, they, they have to confess something to you before you hear it from somebody else. Look at this. Only you. This person is craving you and only you. And so for those of you, if your person is dealing, if you know your person has somebody else and they're dealing with someone else, they are with this other person, but they really want to be with you. They're really thinking about you. They really wish they'd be having sex with you. Look at this chasing energy. Now they are ready to pursue you. This person's getting ready to chase you. But this, there's something about this person who's toxic, okay? If this person isn't toxic, which... We have liar energy here. We have somebody here trying to figure themselves out sexually. They're not really being honest with you. They've been in and out. They're known to love bomb you and kind of say whatever to get whatever from you. They're still attached to another energy here. And there's drama. <sighs> yeah, pride and ego. Definitely the king of wands. Somebody loves attention or their pride and ego. This person is very, very stubborn. Very stubborn. You know, this person right now, for those of you dealing with somebody who's a narcissist here, I'm just going to tell you this. If this person doesn't appear to you to be emotional, they are emotional. This person is going to be in some... this. Especially if they feel like they're about to be outed over something, this person is going to be emotional and they're going to feel like they got to get to you before somebody else outs them, outs them. That's not for all of you guys, that's for some of you. But this person right now, is either they're about to be hopeless and crying in five of cups, nine of swords energy, this person is in despair. They're sinking deeper and deeper into some sort of like depression or hole or something. They're not going to be, yeah. Uh, this person is is we're we're dealing with a divine masculine or a divine feminine who is unbalanced and distorted. Their energy they are like delusional a little bit. Is given delusional. I I I just want you to know. What else here for the collective, please? Is definitely given trust. Spirit is saying trust your intuition. Okay. Trust your gut when this person comes back towards you. When this person says something, you're going to know that they're lying to you. Yeah, look at the bottom of the deck. Elusive, dishonesty, deception, trickery. Use your intuition. I don't care how much this person chases you, collective. Do they love you? Yeah, they do. But I feel like it's mostly just physical. Let's move on. Show me more here. 
What is this person's next move here? Gemini energy. Listen, somebody's about to make a choice. You, you, the Ace of Swords with the lovers. Gemini energy, strong air energy. You could totally be dealing with an air sign because the air energy did come out here. So some of y'all could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, right? The, there's about to be some form of communication or truth about a connection. This person is... Mm. Let's get more. Look at that. Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person's getting ready to come back towards you. But especially if they say, oh, you know, um, Gemini or whatever your zodiac sign is, right? I want to confess to you. I love you. I made a mistake. Blah, blah, blah. Like this person's not being honest with you about the third party that they were seeing. There was something here that they're still hiding. Okay. Six of Swords. They, now they want to come towards you and call a truce. Eight of, eight of Wands in reverse. Some of you may have this person blocked. For some of you, this is someone here that you used to be married to or someone here in this situation is married. Queen of Pentacles is here in reverse, which is towards Virgo Capricorn energy. You may have this Earth sign blocked. For some of you all, you have an Earth sign blocked. Hmm. You were in review or in denial maybe at one point about this person. I feel like you're not in denial about them anymore. Or maybe this person was in denial about somebody else here. Yeah, it's partially because this person, um, you have a past history with this person, right? For some of you all, this could be your soulmate. Um, you know, with the Six of Cups here, this is definitely somebody you have history with. For some of y'all, maybe even children, especially with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse being here with the Six of Cups. There's an Empress, though, who's out here upright, a feminine, who is single and very doing well on their own. They don't need anybody that they eat. So, like, if this Divine Masculine, say you identify as this Divine Feminine, right? Um, the Divine Masculine is getting ready to come back towards you because you're in this energy. You're in great energy. But the thing is, if you're in that energy, you're not going to be playing shit with anybody. You're not going to be playing shit with this person. You are going to trust your intuition. And guess what? You definitely are beautiful as hell. You definitely are graceful. You definitely are very kind because you are the empress. That's who you are. And this person knows that. You could have anybody. You don't need them. But they're thinking about you. Virgo energy with the hermit. They're thinking about you. You might even be thinking about them. Look at this. <laughs> this is what I feel like if you identify as the divine feminine, you have ace of pentacles and a six of wand energy coming towards you. You guys are only focused on the new here. You might have a new commitment coming towards you. I'm just saying divine feminine. Hmm. You're getting some attention here. I mean, you get a lot, a lot of attention. You're very beautiful or very attractive, whether you're male or female. Like, you are a hot commodity. Like, you can have anybody you want, I feel like. You don't have to spend time on this person, but this person wants to come back towards you. This could be you deciding to make a judgment call, too. Three of Swords. I feel like you might be disappointed if you take this person, past person back. Big judgment and three of swords being here. I feel like, yeah, this person, it could also be, you could be dealing with a, a water sign, a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio here who is in deep regret, or this is somebody here who's like really, really emotional, who I said earlier was like unhinged. They're like really, you know, they were in their ego at first. And now this person is, I feel like maybe going through some of, form of ego death or this person was really delusional. And now there's so much, their judgment was clouded and now they got their heart broke maybe by the third party. I don't know for some of y'all that's what it is, but this person is falling apart here and they're unbalanced. They're just not in their right mind. Nine of Cups. For some of y'all, this person is drinking quite quite a bit here. <sighs> Queen of Swords. Something's going on in somebody's home. 
whatever's going on in this person's home, for those of you that have somebody else, like, or there's someone else, there's something going on in this person's home. For some of y'all, this person's going to, like, it's going to be revealed to you or confessed to you that this person's getting a divorce and some drama or something came out. There was some very toxic energy and going on in someone's home here. And this person is like, that's why they have so much drama because maybe they chose something else, somebody else here. I, that's kind of what it looks like. I don't. You know, this person's like going back and forth, like trying to weigh their options. They maybe they made the wrong decision here with this clouded judgment here. And the fact that the clouded judgment came out, this is about illusions, unbalanced. Like somebody is a feel definitely feeling unbalanced, imbalanced right now with the two of pentacles and the cloudy judgment. And also what came out was the judgment and the three of swords. Somebody did not make the right decision or right judgment call. Now they're in deep shit. Maybe now they want to come talk to you about it. I don't know. Or you might hear through the grapevine that this person wants to talk to you about it. I don't know. It, mm, it, I don't know, y'all. I mean, that's just what it is. Let's get a few more and then we'll, we'll call this reading. What, how long? Okay. What else for, this, for, the, for the collective? What else does the collective need to know about this situation, please? What else does the collective need to know about this situation? Hmm. What else does the collective need to know about this situation? Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Oh, boy. What is this shocking? What is this shocking? You guys are going to... Most of you guys are going to walk away from this. Most of you are going to be turn your back on this situation and focus on the new. You're going to focus on your self growth. Look at this. We have hoping energy, expecting faith and manifesting. You see what I'm saying? Like you're more focused on the future here. Then we have something shocking coming in. Some form of turmoil, turmoil, trouble, unexpected. I feel like this is the unexpected communication coming in towards you about this person's drama. I don't really feel like it's your drama. So keep that in mind. Don't let anybody pull you into their drama, okay? Do not. Then I feel like this is you avoiding the drama and walking away from it saying, I don't want shit to do with this, okay? The avoiding, blocking, pushing away. And then this is you saying, la da 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 I'm going to go on about my business and take care of myself. Self-growth, self-focus, self-finding. I'm going to go over here and water my grass where I know it grows, Okay, because this is the energy that I'm in. Let me go, let me go back to that energy because this is you. Self growth, self focused. This is you. The hermit was out, came out after that too. I don't know where the hermit is because all these cards is down here. But yeah, this is you, divine feminine. Look what just came out. Again, feminine energy. This is the divine feminine. Escaping the drama, not wanting anything else to do with it. Do you miss them? Yes. Is it bittersweet? Yes. Do you think about them? Yes. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. But this person, I feel like, is brokenhearted. They're going to be brokenhearted and destroyed, and they're not going to be able to, to let you go. They're going to be obsessively spying on, spying on you. They're going to be holding on to you, clinging on to you. Yep. I, I'm, I can't make this shit up. Look, I'm just going to show y'all. I'm looking at the bottom of the deck. The memories, reminiscing, dwelling, bittersweet. They can't let go of you. They're brokenhearted, shattered, heartbroken, destroyed. Then we have clinging energy, holding on, obsessing, thinking about you, spying on you. And guess who's underneath there? Dun, 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 dun. Divine masculine to the fucking rescue. <laughs> Except the divine masculine can't be can't rescue anybody. They can't really even rescue themselves. It looks like intimacy, bonding, sensual confidence, and confusion. This person is confused. They really are unsure about what they want, but what they do know what they want with you is some form of intimacy. For some of y'all, that could be physical. That could just be to bond with you and to come talk with you about the problems. That's going to be different for everybody here. But I feel like this person, oh my gosh, hold on. This person is wearing a mask. They're pretending. That's the moral of the story. You guys are about to leave this behind. This is the finale. This is the closure. This is it. Well, beware. There's a closure coming towards you. 
you're about to make a decision. You're gonna use your intuition and call call a duck a duck. If it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's a duck. All right, that's your reading. I love you guys. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel.